Hey guys, this is Zeddy, and uh, haven't done a lot of videos in a while. Sorry, I've been pretty busy, and um, so I'm gonna make this one. I uh, was couldn't wait until I actually make a video on this. Uh, I still have a pending one for the TDKD True Mechanism sound test, so that video I haven't even started yet, but it will be done. Um, but in the meantime. I was curious about these things, and you guys know what these are, hopefully. You've seen these before. Um, especially in mid-90s, where most cars still had cassette decks in them, and people wanted to listen to their um, CD players, you know? And then in 2000s, you know, you have your MP3 players. And that's even before the i, <laughs> like the iPhones and stuff. Um, so this allows you to put it in your car cassette deck and um, plug it into your CD player, and it actually sounds pretty decent. You know, you know, there's no hiss or anything because well, there's very little hiss, right? Uh, because it's not tape moving across the heads. It's just a um, an inductor of some sort that basically induces magnetic um, a magnetic field uh, directly to the tape heads which is sensitive to those magnetic fields. I mean that's how that's how tapes work right so that's really cool. <clears throat> so this is old school it's kind of like an off-brand but I got this at Walmart I think for like 10 bucks or something like that this one cost $20 and uh, this one is the same concept as this with you know the wired you just plug it into your headphone jack this one is for a little bit more of a modern time um, like phones these days they don't have headphone jacks so what do you do well if you still have a car that has a cassette deck <laughs> I don't know how many people still do so I don't know how much how popular these are um, but this, as you can already tell, it's Bluetooth. So you do have to charge this thing. So they do come with a uh, USB cord on here. And you have to charge it. <laughs> Put this in, pair it up with your phone, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So in this video, I'm just thinking about opening these things up. So let's start with this one. The packaging is a lot easier to deal with. Sorry for my nails. It's been a long day. Um, long week actually. <laughs> They didn't even bother putting logos and things in here. But there's gearing on the inside that turns the other reel as well when this one's being moved. So simulate that there's something there. And there's a groove here so that in case you're, you know, whether you stick your cassette in this way or like this. There's a way for the wire to channel out of the cassette deck. Like so. Or some of the AC Delco GM cars, they actually go like this, like a VCR. And that should also come out either this way or Honestly, just go straight back, so you're fine. And really, this is one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the one, one of the more simpler, simpler mechanisms. It doesn't go backwards, by the way. See? So if you have an auto reverse deck, it will stop it, and then it will go the other way. See? Oh, actually, no. Never mind, I was wrong. That's weird. Maybe it got stuck at first. 
but you can see the gears here. And I don't really see any way, because I thought I saw, like, you see that there's like a little rubber wheel there. But honestly, it doesn't even come up close. It doesn't come up close to the capstan, so <clears throat> nothing contacts the capstan. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. If you do it upside down, it comes down. That is weird. Okay, so it does actually here. But you see, that's weird though. It tests, it's gravity fed. So, let me see if I can get closer. There we go. You can see it does drop down. There you go. All right, so I guess it does contact the um, the capstan. But not the pinch rollers. All right, and you can tell that it is a stereo head. What is wrong with this thing and not focusing? Oh well. That's the iPad. <laughs> <clears throat> so, that's just the wired version. Very simple. Of course, I forgot to show you, but this is just a simple headphone jack. But you guys can already tell. Alright, so now for the Ion Bluetooth. Packaging on this one basically says... Uh, <clears throat> Hands-free calls, voice feature of compatibility with Siri and many Android phones. So this was definitely made for, you know, your smartphones. You know, this was definitely made way after the iPhones and the Androids. Turns your car cassette deck into a Bluetooth music receiver, enables hands-free phone calls, Built-in microphone. Oh, that's interesting. There's a built-in microphone on here. And your car's speakers. Can't imagine how it would probably echo. Four hours of use with built-in rechargeable battery. Powers on and off when inserted into and ejected from the deck. So there's got to be like a switch or something in there that detects whether it's inserted or not. Uh, built-in microphone to send voice commands to your smartphone's personal assistant. Comes with adapter, charging cable, and a quick start guide. That's cool. And Ion is a Walmart brand. Made in China. I mean, remember we were talking about the um, cassettes that they built uh, or made for us? Yeah, same company. So, let's open this one up. This one has the harder plastic. It's harder to actually open with if you don't have any scissors. Boom. There we go. First, let's get the cable out. And it's just a micro USB. So that's good because I was afraid that it was going to be the mini USB, which is going out of popular yeah, going out of popularity really that's it nothing here so let's get that out of the way and this is way more compact and it also moves the reels if you turn one oh this one does stop you from um never mind it didn't i don't know why but sometimes it stops and sometimes it doesn't but it is letting me go backwards. And just like with the other one, it is a stereo transducer. Doesn't look straight to me though. So I'm, I hope that the stereo separation is still good. But we're going to test that. 
and if you look at the bottom it's the same gearing it looks like it's exact same gearing and everything as this guy right here the heads the head pattern looks different though but if you look at the inside they got the exact same washer type thing so I wonder if it comes down too yes it does oh I see how that works okay so as long as I have some tension here and I pull this way with the right side of the reel that comes down all right open microphone door here so this is saying that here's the microphone and that if you were going to insert this it's expecting it to be like this or if it's out of reverse I guess you can always stick it in this way and then have it play the other side just so that this ends up you know sticking out this way for speakerphone use pull out mic rest cable in guide slot snap mic door shut hmm that's interesting oh does this come off it looks like it's made to come off Hold on just a second. Is there a guide in here? It did say that there was a guide. I wonder if I cut it up. Nope. Oh, here it is. tiny piece of thing. Alright, you and I are, we're looking at this for the first time together. Let's see, charging, Bluetooth, about two hours to charge, battery lasts between four to five hours. Interesting. So you guys can pause and read this for yourself if you guys are interested in that. There's more. Multiple languages. I think that's it. It's just the multiple languages. Well, that's interesting because I was hoping that it would give me information about the microphone. Did I miss it? Nope. Alright, well that's interesting because the microphone looks like it... It can be detached or something? I mean, it looks like it's a separate piece here. See that? So interesting. But it even says here... For speakerphone use, pull mic out. Rest cable in guide slot. Snap mic door shut. Hmm. Well, they're saying that this is the microphone right here. Open microphone door here on off well that's the other thing too I don't see is that a switch that is a switch all right I'm gonna stop this for a bit and turn on the light all right so first thing I notice is that there's an LED here so that's probably the pairing and power indicator I do see the power switch down there I thought it was supposed to automatically 
know when to go on and off. This thing is spring-loaded, by the way. As I'm sure this is as well. It is. Adapter will power on automatically when inserted to a tape deck. But interestingly enough, if it looks like it's in the off position, unless I am mistaken. But again, this is just the unboxing right now, so I'm not going to. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is very first time opening it up, so I have to test this out just to see how it works. Now, I do not have a car with you know with a cassette deck, but. Uh, the purpose of me purchasing these in the first place was to test out cassette decks in the wild, you know. So like for example, when you go and see a cassette deck, belts could be bad, but you know, so that it, that it won't move the tape or anything. So how do you how do you test the other stuff just to make sure that everything else works, you know, like the amplifier and you know, that music comes out. There's nothing wrong with the tape head, etc., etc., etc. Well, the best way to do it is to get like a, a, a cassette adapter like these, which does not rely on you moving the tape, you know, over the heads. This will just have you transmit the audio directly to the head, so you can test everything else that is not, you know, motor or transport related. You know, you're just going to be testing the heads, the preamp, the amplifier. All that good stuff. So, um, all right, that's it for now. Just a really quickie video to unbox this, and uh, I will do a sound test just like I normally do uh, in the next video um, between this and this because this introduces yet another variable, right? Which is the Bluetooth radio because. You know, there's a there's a quality potential quality loss between you know the transdu you know the transducers here, right? The tape head con where it contacts this right here, and then there's another potential loss of quality from you know just the Bluetooth audio. So let's. I really hope this right here. Is it going to sound really bad? Because I've had experience with ba bad Bluetooth uh, audio quality so hopefully this this will sound good hopefully but this will have the potential of sounding the best because it's a direct wire and it actually connects directly to the tape heads or the transducer here so all right that's it guys Toodaloo.